Spotify has added new playlists to its app, but they're not for humans. These playlists are actually for your pets. So here's how it works. If you go to spotify.com slash pets, it'll ask you questions about your pet's personality, then create a playlist based on that, as well as your own music. Now, if you don't wanna go through answering all those questions, there's also another playlist you can find under My Dog's Favorite Podcasts. It's a total of 10 hours with human voices, relaxing music, and even ambient sounds like rain. So some of us may opt for just leaving the radio or maybe the TV on for our dogs while we're away. But are they even paying attention? Well, we went to an animal psychologist for answers. First of all, yes, dogs are paying attention to music. But one study showed there are some genres dogs just hate. What they found was that um, uh, the dogs really got upset at, at, at heart. Rock. I mean, dogs are not headbangers, apparently. Well, pop music seemed to have no effect on dogs, and classical music seemed to calm them down. There were also other genres that pups favored. If you shifted to things like um, uh, soft rock, um, Phil Collins, air, air supply, that sort of stuff, um, um, that uh, the dogs uh, would settle down. And then after a couple of days, that would wear off. That's because apparently dogs like variety, just like humans. And if you're trying to switch it up and don't know what to play for them, our expert says music that's around 72 beats per minute helps soothe dogs. That's around the same tempo of a dog's heartbeat. Some songs in this tempo include Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen and Seven Rings by Ariana Grande.